Hello, hi, good morning all. Today I am going to show you the preparation of ragi, idli and dosa. Let's get started. Now I am taking 1 cup for ragi, dosa and idli preparation. Now I am taking 1 cup urad dal, 2 cups ragi and 1 cup oats. The ragi and urad dal has to soak for 5 to 6 hours. Coming to the oats, it's very soft uh, grain so that it needs just half an hour soaking. Once it is soaked, we have to blend them into fine paste in mixer grinder. Once the batter is ready, the batter has to sit for fermentation for 5 to 6 hours. As we all know, the batter has to sit in a dark, warm place so that we will get fully fermented batter. In this video, you can clearly see the fermented batter. See how nicely it has fermented. Once it is fermented, we have to add required quantity of salt. First, I am going to show you the idli recipe. For idli recipe, the batter has to be thick enough. It should not be too runny. Now, I am greasing the molds with bit oil or you can use the ghee. It's up to you. Now, I am adding enough batter into the molds. Once the molds are filled with the batter, you have to place all molds in the steamer, idli steamer. Now cook the idli in idli steamer for 15 to 20 minutes. After 15 minutes you have to check whether the idli is cooked or not. Just you can check by simply touching the idli. If the idli doesn't stick to your finger, then it is ready. Once you take the idli out from the steamer, you have to let it sit for 10 minutes till it becomes warm. Then only you can easily demold the idlis from the idli mound. After 10 minutes, you can easily remove the idli from the idli mound. See, in video you can clearly see. And you can serve with your favorite chutney. It tastes good with ghee and any spicy chutney of your choice. The ghee and spicy chutney is the best combination for any ragi food items. And serve hot. It's your healthy and tasty idli serve. Ready for your morning breakfast. Now I am going to show you the ragi dosa recipe. Here I have used the same batter for which I have used for ragi idli recipe. But I have just loosened the batter with half cup water. Now I am preparing ragi dosas on preheated oil greased tawa. Just I have took a ladle full of bread and evenly spread on the tawa. And now I am drizzling half tablespoon of oil on the dosa. Once it, once it become crisp, I will just take it out of the pan using the spatula. That's it. The emir crispy dosa is ready. It tastes as good as normal urudal rice dosa. And much more healthier than urdal rice dosa. I can assure you that. In the second dosa, I am drizzling a half spoon of ghee. 
which help gives us more bone strength and helps us nourishing well and i am adding some masala for the taste that's it the emmy crispy ragi dosas are ready to serve